knowledge on that. Then we're going to go to break. We're going to come back with an interview with the Carter Link. That's a beautiful family that's yeah. doing a lot of positive yeah. things and it's yeah. inspiring a lot of people in the city. So that's Please right, live say hello to this beautiful family. Look how cute. How you doing? How you doing? We're good. Thank you guys for being here. Can you introduce yourselves and your kids? All right. So my name is Joe Carter. One for the Carter Link. This is my lovely wife, Summer. This is my daughter. Dream, and this is my one year old son, Champion. Awesome, yeah, awesome, yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Hey, and we just appreciate being here. Thank y'all for having me. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much. Dream. This might be our youngest guest. Look at this. History, history in the making. This is also black excellence. Not many people do their first interview at one years old. <laughs> That's what's up. Thank y'all. Shout out to our new uh, Facebook Live guest, Miss Sarah, Mr. Matthew. Ask him to come on in. Do we need another? We gotta go too, we go okay. That's fine. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna let y'all squeeze something. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Nah, yeah, nah, nah, nah. We glad y'all have it. Definitely, 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 definitely. No, they say they'll make the two work the joke. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, no problem, no problem. I mean, all you get to do is make the two work the joke. Okay, okay. Oh, You guys remember when you were that young? Who did you prefer, a mommy or a daddy? <laughs> a woman's work. Look at that. What's up, Gary? What's up? Alright. The bats is gonna do it, y'all. If y'all think y'all know what John B.C. Paul could do, let us know in the comments or give us a call. Yeah. 504-260-9265. He lost his job, y'all. We gotta get him. We gotta get him a new one. We gotta help him. We gotta help these people. Someone gotta shake. Someone gotta shake. Y'all looking for a babysitter? Ah, Ryan! Ryan, go get Fine. Yes. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> well, we gonna we trying to get him a new job because you know he lost his radio job. That's why he not here today. Oh man, he lost his job. <laughs> yeah, he lost it for real, y'all. Oh, I'm like, <laughs> <really confused. laughs> I was like, I'm trying to get a the winker. Right, right, right. All right. We could we could get it. We could get it. All right, all right. Welcome back to the Misbelief Radio Show. We up in here. This is that actor guy, Martin Bats Bradford. And we in here with the Carter Link. But before we get into our guests, who else is here with me on the co host station, Ryan Shotgun? Hi, everybody. It's me, Oshu. Hi, it's Jay Steele, keeping it real. And Mastermind, tell me who was that that just was on? Who just played? Elliot Love. I mean, that joint made me want to want just chill, not running high. I like that one. Uh. So anyway, we're getting into our first interview segment. This is one I was very excited about, the Carter Link. I remember, I was it like maybe two years ago that y'all had that joint about your anniversary? And I was yeah, like, man, yeah, 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 I was yeah, like, yeah. you know, I've been knowing Summer since high school. <laughs> Mac Man represent. Right, we know right, old Mac Man. Right. 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 It still look the same, but you, you dig. So I saw this video, and I mean, I got you rapping on it, flowing, and then right. got Summer. I didn't know Summer would be spitting. You feel me, Summer that, dropping that, bars? Yeah, that was her debut right there. That was, 
<laughs> yeah, that was a debut, but she did her thing, man. She definitely did her thing. Definitely. Then you had your daughter in there as well. I think that was the first bars I saw her spit. And like, right. She right. <laughs> <laughs> so, right. like, yeah. I was really excited about getting this one. So, first introduce yourselves, uh, each, you know, everybody. Family. Gotcha, gotcha. So, my name is Joe Carter. Um, I'm the head of the Carter Link, also the head of our family. My name is Dream Carter. Woo-hoo. Woo-hoo. <laughs> you want to say something, champ? No. No. Oh. Okay. <laughs> mysterious Carter. I'm Summer Carter, also a part of the Carter Link. And, oh, well, there you hear it. That's Champ. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And this, this is an inspiring family to me. Like, I was just talking about the, I think, did that video went viral as well, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that video uh, went viral, but actually when that video went viral, we were still kind of new to it. And so it actually went viral on somebody else's platform. Word. And so, um, you know, all in all, you know, our, our main thing is, you know, they're inspiring. So we just, you know, no matter if we, we retain the people or not, but for this particular video, we actually tagged it the proper way and we actually uh, shared it for my oh, platform. You mean, you mean the Rake It Up joint? Yeah, the Rake It Up joint. We're going to come back, gonna come back to the Rake It Up joint. And, and for people that's listening, I might have right. jumped the gun. The, this anniversary video I'm talking about, uh, Joel and Summer, they made a music video. What beat that was on? Man, so it was actually it was a childish uh, Gambino beat, uh, yeah, that that he used for a song called Bonfire. Right. And so as we was looking, uh, you know, the the kind of uh, to come up with, you know, what the best concept was, I said, you know what, I'm just kind of feeling this beat. You know, you always gonna have the lovey dovey song for mm-hmm. an anniversary. Mm-hmm. Right. But we wanted to do it as a family, as a collective, because we know that's what makes us special. And they made a family anniversary song. The husband had balls for his wife. The wife right. had balls right. for her husband. Right. The so. kid like mommy, daddy, y'all gotta stay together. Yeah. 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 Baby right. was dancing right. and right. stuff. Right. I was like, oh, I want to be married. I want kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It turned about. ass out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, family man coming soon. My mom's going to love that if she's watching. That's what it's about. Yes, indeed. That's so first, about. the normal way that we start the show, we always ask our guests, do you know what a misbelief is? I do. I do. Yes. I do. I, I, I know what a misbelief is. Oh, some of you got a tree. I had before Katrina. Okay. My home. Because we about to put your tree on the back. In the east, I had a misbelief tree. Yes. So what (laughs) what about Dream? Dream, do you know what a misbelief is? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, explain that. Uh, explain that what a misbelief is, because I'm going to ask you what's your misbelief story. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and let her do it since she's the one with the tree. I'm the one with the tree. With the tree. <laughs> <laughs> well, we already know that that's not the. I don't think that's the real name for it. I think that's just what New Orleans call it. Japonica. It's, it's supposed to Japanese be some kind of Japanese plum. plum. Uh, it's yeah. three names for low so, quad. Right. Low quad. So, so yeah. Um. We had one in our yard, so that's all the kids, the neighborhood kids, used to come to our house to collect the misbelief. And we used to pick them every season. So <laughs> I, I am very familiar with it, and I ate a lot of them coming up. Yes, indeed. They're like, small yeah. little yellow yeah, fruit. Yeah, yeah. And, and it, it tastes good. good. They're good. And it's people so usually good. steal them from other people's houses because most of us don't. Oh, yeah. 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 don't even have trees. <laughs> she yeah, some, your, your mom had the trees, so she was yeah. a lucky one. She was right. privileged. Right. So we had the thieves too now. Yeah, and I believe <laughs> they came in the yard yeah. collecting. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> dream, dream like runner. Yeah. Joe, you got a misbelief story. For yeah, my yeah, yeah. So um, I used to also attend uh, elementary school in the east, and so um, as we used to walk home, we had a treat, and it was just always like on a hot day. I didn't know what they were at first. Then my friends was eating. I was like, bro, I don't think you should be eating off this treat like that. <laughs> <laughs> but then it's like, man, try it. And one day I was just real hungry, and I tried it, man. So ever since then, I just, I just been on it, man. Yeah, look, yeah. man. It's thought it's like the New Orleans culture. Yeah, yeah man. Feel yeah, me? Yeah, yes, indeed. Yeah. Well. I want y'all to be. I want y'all to give me the Carter link in three words. Man, that's a good one. Um, inspirational, uh, family, and love. Mm. Yep. Mm. That's what it's about. That, like that. That's what it's about. That's what it's about. That's what it's about. That's what it's about. I mean, not you know, not to get up on y'all business, but uh, how, how y'all met? How did the Carter link? I know y'all heard that joke. Right. <laughs> yeah. How did the Carter link? Right, right. How, how did we link? <laughs> <laughs> we link. <laughs> you should let me tell that. Oh, come on, Sasha. Right at that. Right at that. Go ahead. Okay, so in high school, actually, um, we, I had a summer job. My mom had told me she was not spending like all this money on my prom, and I wanted a fire prom dress. So I oh. was like, so I was like, well, if my prom dress gotta be fire, I gotta get a job. I gotta pay for this prom dress. I'm gonna be lame. Yeah. So I we I, we started working at um Six Flags and there, he wound up being on my team at Six Flags. And one you mean day, Jazz Flags? You know the one the one of these? Right. That's it. Jazz. <laughs> that's what jazz I used to call name, it. But it turns Six Flags. Jazz Flags. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so one day, how we actually started like talking is my mom. She was dating this dude that lived in Slidell, and she forgot to come get me from work. 
so I ain't have no ride home. <laughs> and he wound up saving me and taking me home because I ain't have no ride. And from that point on, we've been inseparable. Man, the real black oh, Superman. Yeah. 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 That was like 13 years ago. <laughs> and yeah, we, we've been together ever since. So, yeah. oh, it's been is... a minute. <laughs> Lord, we need to put you on that black love documentary. <laughs> that Lord, Lord that, that's For amazing. Real. So how did it become, like, what, what brought it to... The, the 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 business aspect of it. Actually, that's um. You, I don't know if you recall in high school, but I used to do battle rapping playfully in high school. Yeah, <laughs> yeah me. Well, it, I mean, I, was a it, super it, artist in high school. Yeah, you did the clothes, I did everything. You drew, you did a I, and it wasn't serious in high school, but I I did used to play around with battle rapping, like just being stupid, like talking about people and stuff like that. <laughs> Um, but um, as far as us making it a business, my husband has always been into music. Like, that's his thing. Like, he love music. Hip hop, oh, that's his thing. He even helped out that man do, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, so, yeah, 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 That's one of his projects. So he do a lot of writing. He's a great writer. But as far as us making it a business, my husband actually the one started the, the, the trying to do the, like, the rap thing on his own type of thing. And then once he came out with the proposal video, that's when we started like looking at it more so as like, he was like, well, you want to get on this track? And right. we would always, even in high school, we would have car rides right. and be playing with music and rapping and, and oh, doing wow. freestyle battles in the car, just chilly, you know, riding chilly right, right, around right. New Orleans, you know, just doing our little rides and stuff. So when it, when it got to that point, when he started really getting into it, and he was like, you know, like, maybe you should get on one of these tracks. And I'm like, for sure. Like, you know, I don't care. Like, I'm going to do it. Go. I got this right. Yeah. So with him, like, he really started making it like a serious thing. I was more so just playing with it, like, whatever. He was like, man, you sound good. And then all his friends was like, man, some of sound good. So I was like, oh, <laughs> let me get up on this then. So, um, but I, I get a lot of good feedback from the women, you know, like, being that I'm a mother and right. like it's so like not typical for a woman like me to really be trying to spit anything right. and the stuff I talk about is really about my life like being yeah. married having kids that ain't the typical topic but right. it should be because there's so many mothers out here there's so many like, like that's what took me to it like oh, y'all really flipping the family thing in a way that because right. we, we, we're all millennials we came up in hip hop it's not right. like that. that's what we know you dig so that was like the, the soundtrack of many of our, uh, right. Right. our lives right. so right. Right. this is a way to reach us yeah right. and and honestly, like I said, man, that, that that's the whole that's the whole thing, you know. And just to kind of piggyback on what she said, once I did the proposal, then I just started kind of seeing like how women were inspired by it and how males were inspired, and that's when I it really just kind of hit me because I believe that if you inspire people, they'll follow you. Right. You know, right. and like whatever it is, if you feed their spirit or whatever it is that you feed to them, that they'll start to follow you. And so right. I told my wife, I said, you know what, you know, like we can look at this and we can take. The platform that we have, make it into something positive, and then whatever becomes of it, it becomes of it. But at least yeah. we've given something, you know, to the people that they can use and make useful. Right. Mm -hmm. right. right. So right. how did Dream get into it? Man, Dream is just a superstar. Dream is just extremely sure extreme. Is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. She's definitely a superstar. She's extremely talented. Um... She saw the she saw the whole thing. You know, when I proposed to uh to Summer, she might have been about five, and so um as it, as things be you know begin to kind of take off, I even told my wife, I said, you know what, we might not have the money to go to Los Angeles, you know, to, to fully pursue dance, but mm -hmm. with social networking, we can put something out and, and create something in which that can reach the people in LA. And, and I've been on the phone with you know just different people in Hollywood that look at her as a superstar. Right, right, and so, right, yeah, right. And so it, it just it, it definitely took off and um. You know, rapping is new for her, sure. but the dance aspect of it, like, she's been dancing, she's been, you know, she's been in entertainment. Like, anytime you put her on the stage, like, she literally turns into somebody else. Like, I don't even know who she is, honestly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And she ran that rake it up. So, yeah. how, did, how does it feel to get a YouTube video that's over 170,000 views? Oh, I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> your friends, are you your friends at school seen it? Like, yeah. So, what they saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Rake it up, remix. Back to school. Let's get it. Let's get it. 